from Philadelphia, this is Good Day. 741 interest rates are once again at historic lows. So if you missed out before, should you pony up now and buy that dream home? Or should you wait a little longer? Mortgage expert Vince Ingui is here. So what Good should morning. we do? How many times can we have you on? <laughs> is this as low as it's going to go? Here what is the rate right now? Mortgage rates what we're talking about. Must be a good sign because every time I'm on, the rates just keep falling. Well, yeah, that, maybe yeah. I should be on more often. <laughs> uh, Thirty-year fixed rates right now are about four and a half percent. The fifteen-year fixed rate, uh, for those of you trying to pay down your mortgage balance faster, right. are right around three point seven five percent. And wow. the, the arm rates are in the twos and the threes. So we went up a little bit. The thirty-year fix got close to five percent. We're back down again um, to about four and a half percent. So rates are extremely low. Right Every now. time you come, people are emailing us now. They're Facebooking us. We have people who are wanting to refinance and people who are wanting to buy. Let's start with the refinancing. We were just mm -hmm. talking off camera. It's not so simple, though, right? I mean, they're really, you know, look nitpicking here. Yeah, the underwriting standards have definitely tightened up. You know, the pendulum has swung, if you will. You go back five years ago. If you had basically a heartbeat, you got a loan without showing anything. And now, look what happened to us. Yeah, exactly. Nowadays, because of that uh, loose lending, if you will, it's overly conservative in my opinion. People with great credit scores, good income, are having to document literally everything. That being said, because the rates are so low, it is worth a little the hassle that you have to get through the process in order to get to the end result, obviously, so which is the interest savings. if your credit is not the greatest, will you do, I mean, is there a chance that this won't happen for you to refinance? Uh, there's definitely a chance, yeah. no question. Um, you know, there are lots of programs out there, especially through the government. FHA financing is a little less stringent on credit. Um, there's still lots of sources to get funding, to get mortgages, but you have to be prepared to document, 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 a lot Ish. different than it was a few years yes, ago. I'm going through it right now. Mm. Tremendous documentation. But if I don't, if a person doesn't have such good credit, does that mean their interest rate is never going to get down there in the twos and threes and fours? Uh, well, yeah, you know, see, the, the credit does have a major impact on your interest rate, in particular on conventional finance. Okay. Now, if you go through FHA, it's not as credit score driven as as as, uh, as conventional financing, but you've got to get that magic 700 FICO score. There are people watching right now. Says, "Oh my gosh, we've been sitting on this house for five years. Does this does this mean that there's a better chance their house is going to sell?" Well, we are seeing inventory move now. The the homes that are selling are those that are priced according to... So have they to had to knock down the prices and people are taking hits, yes, aren't they? Yes, they are based <sighs> on today's market mm -hmm. prices. You cannot hang your hat on what you bought your house oh. for back in 2005 and 2006. Trust me, I'm one of those people Just give up that, on that. that paid that. So the you people have are to, holding out. They're trying to hold out. And those that have to sell are selling, which is the issue, because nowadays the appraisal guidelines are pretty clear and pretty, pretty objective. Your home, value of your home, is based on the most recent sales within the last six months within a one mile radius of your Ooh. house. So there think about right the there. folks that are selling right now. Um, you know, they're selling because they have to get out, not because they necessarily want to get out. I know so many people, they want the new house, but then they're stuck in their own house and they wanted to make a profit to use as a down payment on the new house. Here, so, you know. Here's what I would say to that. To those folks, you're going to take less of a value or a loss, if you will, on the house you're selling. However, the house that you're buying you should be gaining yeah. on that. Right. So to lock okay. in a, you know, if you're, you got to live somewhere, yeah. right? So to lock in a low interest rate for a long period of time, frankly, I can't think of a better investment than real estate right now in this country um, for a long-term investment. So you're going to lose a little bit on the sale. You might lose a lot even on the sale, but especially if you're buying up, you're selling your $200,000 house for a $300,000 house, you might be really getting a $350,000 house for a Good job, Vince. We Thank just want to let everybody know how low it went this morning. Yeah. So thanks for coming in. All right, thanks for